Hello guys, it's on the video day E back at you again like so firstly like I know I've been MIA for like three months because I checked yesterday <laughs> made my last video like three months ago but here we are guys like what's up excuse me I'm so rude practicing but what is up guys so, okay, today is October 3rd already, right? Okay, so what has been going on? I think the last time I made a video, I honestly don't even know what I was talking about, but I'm in level two now. Um, basically, like, at the halfway mark of this program, well, when I complete this semester, I'll be at the halfway mark of this program so I'm taking um what classes am I taking I'm taking OB med surge OB and med surge is basically one course 290 and it's like split between the semester basically so we'll have OB for the seven weeks and then med surge for seven weeks half of second level students are doing med search and the other half are doing OB and I'm doing OB um what else oh yeah OB med search psych research the most boring course ever and health assessment so those are the five courses well technically it's four courses but the five subjects that I'm taking this semester we are at week five. We've had one exam so far for OB. Um, and I got an 85. I really thought I did way better than that. So on Wednesday, we'll see what that was about. Um, but an 85 is still good. I'm not complaining because that exam weighs 25% of my grade. <laughs> so I'm grateful, okay? Um... So basically we get like one exam in OB and then one exam in med surge. And those are the only two exams for the semester. And then you get like a quiz for each. And then like I proctor ATI and all that stuff. You know how that goes. So. Okay, how do I even start? Like this semester did not start well at all. And some people may know what I'm talking about if you like know anyone that goes to LIU or I don't know if you just came across this like basically the first two weeks of school we had no professors like I'm just gonna take this out so I'm gonna let you guys know something very personal <laughs> very personal right now I'm probably, you guys will probably think it's really gross but I bite my nails and I like to chew them in my mouth not chew it like grind it into pieces <laughs> but I just like to, I don't know I just like to play with it like with my tongue and my teeth it's so weird like it's so gross I would show you the nail but I don't know if I'm gonna show it because I want to <laughs> so I was biting on that for like the past 30 minutes that's so gross that's why I have no nails now but anyway um yeah we had no professors they locked out all of the professors, Dr. Klein, the president of LIU. Yes, I'm putting her on blast. Um, what is her name? Kim Klein, Kimberly Klein, whatever her name is. She locked out all of the professors, I guess, in hopes that that would get them to accept the contract that they that was being offered to them. They felt like the contract was not like sufficient, basically, because like I think LIU post professors get paid way more than LIU Brooklyn. So, yeah, the people wasn't having it, and they were, you know, negotiating their contract. And I guess, like, Dr. Klein or whoever was in charge of that, they just wasn't having it, and they locked them out. I think she wanted that to, like, get them to accept the contract. But, no, they were locked out for two whole weeks. And you guys know, nursing, PT, OT... Any health science major is a usually a track program. So you need to be on track. We were two weeks behind. Like, that's a lot. It may not seem like a lot to some people, but for nursing, 
that's a lot of content. Imagine you as a nursing major don't go to school for two weeks. You're going to be lost. Like, you're going to be lost. And there's probably almost no way for you to catch up. Like, but basically what they did was they, the professors, when they got back that third week, they forced, um, they didn't force, what am I saying? They clustered everything. So basically week one, week two, and week three were trying to get taught in one class setting. Like, obviously that didn't work for every class. Some professors managed to, you know, get through all the content, but some people didn't. And we basically, our exam for OB had to be cut. Like, they cut. Basically, we had one course with our actual professor for OB. And then the next week we had an exam. So she basically just made the exam whatever she spoke about that week, which I think is a benefit to the students. There's less content that we have to study to be on that exam. Granted, we still need to know that content, but at least we won't be tested on it. And with our exams being 25% each, that's a lot. Basically, two exams is half of your grade. So it um it benefits you if you look at it that way. I keep looking at my phone. Um, what else did I want to mention? Yeah, two ninety. Well, second level in general is just a lot different from first level. First level, we had a quizzes every week for like every class, and it kind of keeps you on your toes and keeps you reading. Um, I already have fallen off of my pre class reading ever since the exam, which is the same thing that happened last semester. Once the exam started to flow in, I stopped pre-reading because I'm studying for an exam. Like whenever there's, I did this last semester too, whenever there's an exam, that previous week I'm doing nothing but any assignments that I have to turn in, I'll do those. But as far as pre-reading or like just studying in general for other courses, I don't do it. I don't know if it's a good thing, a bad thing, it hasn't ever really reflected in my grades. Um, I just focus on what I'm about to be tested on. And, like, anything that I know is time limited, then I'll do that. But if it's not time limited, then I'm going to wait until I finish my exam before I do it. And since last week we took that exam, last week Wednesday, we took the OB exam. This Wednesday we have a health assessment exam. Next Monday we have a psych exam. The week after that I think we have a quiz and OB that next week, I think we have another psych exam. Like, it's endless. So, I'd rather focus on what I'm going to be tested on. The grade is what's going to keep me moving in my program. So, I focus on what's being tested. And I still make sure I understand the content. Like, lecture is lecture is a good way to gauge what you know and what you don't know. If you're, like, sitting in class and you don't know what the hell is going on, then that means you really do need to read. But... I follow, I don't know if, I, well, I think that because of my, I know, because of Veeb, I'm still getting content that I went through in Veeb. So it's like refreshers still in second level. It's like refreshers. And so that also may be a reason why I don't necessarily feel like I have to read. I'll just save the reading until we get the blueprint and um, I start studying for the exam. That's when I read. And it's not exactly ideal for everyone but it works for me so you just kind of have to find like what works for you um today we had a presentation and research it was me and my friends we were in one group thank god <laughs> if you guys know me like anyone who knows me knows i don't really like like i don't know i'm not the most social person i'm really not into making new friends i'm pretty sure i've said this somewhere on my youtube channel before like, I'm really not into making friends. I'm friendly, but unless we have, like, some type of mutual connection or something that brought us together that made me have to talk to you, I'm probably not just going to walk up to you and talk to you. Yeah, I don't do that. I kind of want to break out of that in 2017. <sighs> yes, I want to be more, like, out there. Um, Not out there, like there I'm still gonna be on a real day that's never gonna change but I do want to like not limit myself so much and not like guard myself away from 
other people because I feel like you can definitely miss out on a lot of opportunities that way because you just never know who is who and if you just spark any like random little conversation or if any little random conversation just happens to occur then you know who knows the type of doors that will open for you so yeah I need to get that together but other than that school's okay like I said research is boring I'm enjoying my other courses though um Boy, new stuff is oh, I should have brought it close to me so I can show you guys. I got the um Lipman Classic 3. I'm actually gonna tell you guys a funny story. So, I'm in health assessment in the lab uh portion of the course, and I you know, did my we got checked off of blood for we got checked off for blood pressure the very first day that we had lab without yeah, we didn't have lab those first two weeks. So we didn't have we started lab third week and we got checked off for blood pressure that same day and um she let us practice before we do it or whatever. Honestly, I had not done a manual blood pressure since like last semester. But um <laughs> she let us practice or whatever. So I got a practice with my friend Mariana and um I I checked her blood pressure, had my professor come cross-check it or whatever. And the second she puts in my earphone, she cleans it with the alcohol pad. If you're sharing, set the spoke. Make sure you're cleaning the earbuds because that's nasty. She cleans it and, you know, she goes to try to check it. She's like, oh, where did you get these stethos- where did you get this stethoscope from? Like, the quality is horrible. Ask me what stethoscope I was using. The one that Beeb gave me. Yes, I haven't bought an, another one since I graduated. I don't know. I just felt like I've been using this for 11 months. There's nothing wrong with it. I could keep using it. Ugh, I was wrong. She was like, and you should have seen her face. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Well, I wasn't embarrassed, but it was funny. And I was like, okay, I definitely need to order new set the scopes. Confirmed. Thank you for the confirmation. So, like, a few days later, I went online, and I got, um, I ordered some, the Lipman Classic 3 in pearl pink, and the website I got it from was called Medisave, M-E-D-I-S-A-V-E dot com. If you're looking for stethoscopes, well, if you're looking for Lipman stethoscopes, then go there. They sell it a little bit cheaper. Their engraving is only ten dollars. A lot of other websites charge like fifteen, like All Heart charges fourteen ninety nine for engraving, and this website charges nine eighty nine. And I didn't really care too much for engraving, but I noticed that it was the cheapest one that I saw, so I was like, why not get it? So I got Nurse Onos with a heart engraved, and they also have symbols that you can add to your engravement. Like it, it doesn't have to be just words. So I um added like the little heart after Nurse Onos, and it's just. So cute, yes. Okay, nurse. Oh, in the building, like, like. I don't even know why you other nurses bother at this point. Like, okay, I'm going now because this is a 13 minute video. I really just wanted to update you guys. More videos are coming. More quality videos are coming. Every time I make a video, I'm in my bed. Just know that. <laughs> I need to like get a setup my room my room is a mess right now but my room is not that big and I feel like it's just it's cluttered like it has a whole bunch of stuff in here like wardrobe like it's two wardrobes in here one for me one for my sister because like I don't really share a room with her right now but sometimes I do <laughs> like if my other sister my other sister goes to school in DC so well she's really not ever here so she you know takes her room so for the most part, I have my own room, but whenever she comes to visit for the weekend, then I don't. But her wardrobe is in here. I have this desk, and I have this thing that I need to throw out. Like, it was, okay, long, this is about to be a 20-minute video. So I had a bunk bed at first for me and my sister, right? And then I was just like, ugh, um, I wanted to move the bunk bed. But it was one of those bunk beds that's kind of like, I call it a house, <laughs> Because it's like the two beds, this side had a desk, the other side had like a bookshelf, there's drawers, there's a ladder, it's, I call it a bed house, it's like a house. Um, 
<laughs> but it's a bed. So I wanted to move it to, to open up the desk area. Like the way it was positioned in my room, you couldn't really use the desk area. So I wanted to, well, you can use it comfortably. Like you could use it, but it's real tight, you know? So I wanted to move the bed closer to the other side of the wall. So that way I would be able to use the desk. This was right before I started V because I wanted the desk. Me and my dad tries to move it. The bed is wood. Like the whole thing is made out of wood. And it's like that burgundy color wood. The freaking thing breaks. Like the wood, it broke while we was trying to move it. It broke to where my dad was no longer comfortable with it being a bunk bed because he was like, it's dangerous or whatever. No one is about to have a, hu a human being sleeping on top of them in a broken bed. Like, it's too dangerous or whatever. So we basically made it two single beds. We detached everything. So now we have two single beds, my desk, and then the bookshelf drawer thing. It's like... I was using it as for my makeup setup when we first moved around. It was great up until it started to break even more. Like, the drawers, they don't stay aligned anymore because the, the pieces on the side... Okay, so you have your drawers here and you have the two walls. It's, like, coming apart. Like, because the... It's not a house anymore. It was meant to be a house. And it's not a house anymore. So, it's not... It wasn't made to just stand alone. So, it's falling apart. And I just want to get rid of it. Like, I moved my makeup onto my desk. I want to just because I don't use my desk <laughs> anyway I study in my bed um apparently I do everything in my bed um yeah I put my makeup on my desk and I want that to be my makeup area and I will make the top of my desk where I put my textbooks and then I have like a shelf under the desk where I put shoes and stuff and then I have shoes on the floor under it so I just want to like take out the bookshelf <laughs> drawer thingy like trash so I could have more space in my room and if I want to I could get a desk like another desk a table less than a desk a table to record at you know so those are the plans you know I have so many ideas and so many things that I want to do but you know I'm just still weighing my pros and cons honestly and I'm really thinking like is this something I, I just want to do or is this something that I really want to do? <laughs> that makes no sense. Like, like I want to do it, but this is something that I'm ready to commit myself to. Like, you know, you know, you'll be wanting to do stuff, but you just want to do it like one time. But the, what I want to do is not something that you just do one time. It's either you do it or you don't. So, like, yeah, we're negotiating within ourselves and... Most likely I'm going to end up doing it because I've been thinking about it for so long. It's just like, just do it, bitch. Just do it. Like, So I might just do it. Um, All right, I'm really going to let you go now. It's 20 minutes. Stay tuned for my next video. I promise it won't take this long to come again. Okay, bye, guys.